Do you think that these Frenchies can do what the bullies can do? Here, let me put them back here. Let's see. We got a little racetrack here. I should create some little. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Be a good mommy. Be a good mommy. Look at that one. Already digging. She digging deep. All right. Stay still. So, one of the things I'm seeing, I was like, hey, can these dogs get to the nipple and figure it out? Do they need so much assistance, even being French Bulldogs with shorter arms? Well, the one who's supposed to die, he's uh, he seems to be making it. Or she, my bad. It's a girl. This is the only boy right here, the one that looks like Mr. Wick, my guy Ruben's dog. So we got one. He figuring it out. The other ones, we're going to see if they're going to figure it out. Now, oh, that's so cute. Look at that. So cute. I'm not a cute person. But I don't even know what looks cute. <laughs> I don't know how to, how do you assess that? Oh, that's cute. What does that mean? I have no clue. I never did get it. But that was like, you know what? I just want to be warm. So a couple things that I'm looking for is, again, how much drive do these dogs have? Somebody said, man, they're French Bulldogs. Only thing we're doing is driving around everywhere, putting them in a little, uh, you know some carts they put babies in that they, they, I see the people with the Frenchies, French can't walk nowhere because it'll die. So, so they put it in the little stroller. I don't have any kids, people. I call the kids my kids, but by the time I met them, they was 15 and I wasn't an absent father. <laughs> These are young men that I just came into their lives and affected them in a positive way. What we've seen now, you saw me put them all here. Guess what? They've all made it back there. You don't want to get too far there, back there, buddy. That's the wrong hole. <laughs> I don't want you sucking on that blood. At any hoop, we'll be testing the Frenchie's capabilities, especially as we get closer to wrong hole, mama. <laughs> especially as we get closer to uh, our week four. Week three and a half, four, when we start switching them to raw food. You guys want to know if, what a Frenchie can eat raw? Oh, stay tuned. I'm going to have a blast feeding these jokers and seeing how long it takes them collectively to tear stuff to pieces. We gonna have so much fun and get this, I got a whole pig. I still got a pig left, oink. So, right now we're just assessing, can the dog survive on their own? Can they be motivated on their own? Um, do they have senses like a dog, like, you know, bigger dogs? And I tell you, uh, I won't say I'm impressed because I've seen this before. I'm not surprised because a dog wants what it wants and if it was hungry it's gonna be hungry uh, we pay attention to the sounds and all that other stuff but what do you think a Frenchie could do what would you like to see a Frenchie puppy do how would you like to um, what are some things you want to learn as we continue to put stuff out there <sighs> look at this sleeping all of them realistically just want to get closer so they can get some rest one of my favorite parts about these processes and even with this one, you know, it's starting to wake me up a little bit. I got to be honest with you. Uh, not super motivated. Definitely not completely inspired. Definitely by a Frenchie. We've talked about that already. Told you I'm not a Frenchie fan or a fanatic. But I love a good dog. And I love an opportunity to learn. <laughs> remember, remember the Titans when he says, Coach has 12, 12, 12 championships. Six such and such. He says, what an opportunity to learn. Dizzy always gives you that pause for he hits you with another line and keeps you motivated or inspired. So, ooh, Dizzy to get to it, boy. Asha here is doing a good job, people. I want to know how far we can push the Frenchies, especially when they get into their fourth week. We're going to test every raw component possible. We're going to keep them healthy as can be. We're going to make sure they get to great homes. So I'm going to do my best in that regard. And even more importantly, we're going to eat, teach you as much as we can. I've been curious and seen a lot of things in a short amount of time when it comes to these Frenchies. And uh, I repeat, I'm not impressed. And this isn't going to change my mind. <laughs> but it seems like the dogs are still dogs. And so far, the eyes ain't open, but they look like good dogs. So stay tuned. Look at them. They just want to be over here sleeping. Stay tuned. Keep taking care of your dogs, people. And as always, seriously, thank you for watching.